Just the other day, I was out shooting with a specific lens that I've had for ages, and it was taking amazing photos still. And it just made me think, what, what a sick lens. So walking through Cologne the other day, as I was, taking photos and I thought why not make a video about this lens and why it's such a great fit for photographers of all levels but particularly beginner photographers even though there's probably a million videos out there about this lens already but whatever here we go now of course the lens I'm talking about is the good old nifty 50 a 50 millimeter fixed focal length prime lens now these days there's a million different versions of this lens out there each brand and manufacturer has their own version of it and a lot of them come even at different price points at different standards now that said my one is the Nikkor 50 millimeter 1.8 version I'm not totally sure but my guess is that it's one of the absolute cheapest ones and I bought it ages ago like I think it was my second lens that I ever bought, so, so a long, long time ago, and it still works, it's still great. But the thing is that it was also my first ever prime lens that I bought. And I remember the first time that I used it back on my old Nikon D3200, I think I had. I just couldn't believe how sharp it was. Like this was, this was how photos that I was looking at on the internet looked. It was like the first time I, I ever took a, a really sharp, proper photo. So yeah, I'm a big fan of this lens and I think it's great for photographers of all levels, but particularly for beginners. And here are five simple reasons why I think that's the case. So reason number one is that in most cases, this is a very cheap lens. I think mine cost around 230 euros and that was like seven or eight years ago. So yeah a really really cheap lens the exact prices will of course depend on the manufacturer but from what i could find online most of them do sell a relatively cheap version of this lens even the newer more expensive mirrorless lineups have a relatively cheaper version of this lens in there somewhere why is this lens so cheap to be honest i i don't really know my best guess is probably down to the way it's made it's quite small so less optical elements means a smaller production cost and of course a cheaper lens. But don't let that put you off. It's still a great lens and it will last if you take care of it. And because this is such a common lens, you have a good chance of finding it on a secondhand marketplace as well. So you'll probably find an even cheaper version of it out there if you need to. The second reason I like this lens is because I never seem to outgrow it. This lens has always been a handy lens to have in my bag and it still is to this day. As I mentioned already, I bought this lens about eight years ago and I still use it. That's incredible. And it's not only that I still use it, it's still a really good lens. Because it's a low aperture prime lens, it's really fast, performs well in a whole variety of conditions and it's super sharp. It's also a really nice focal length for many different situations and different types of photography. So it's always gonna be a really handy lens to have in my bag. That brings me on to reason number three. It's a really versatile lens too. For the same reasons I just mentioned, this lens is great for a whole load of different types of photography. So if you're a beginner and you're trying out lots of different genres of photography, which I think you should be as a beginner, this would be a great lens to help you do that. I've spent too much money on photography equipment in the past that just ended up collecting dust on the shelf. That's unfortunately the case with a lot of photography equipment, especially higher end niche stuff, but that's Definitely not the case with this lens. It'll be great for many different situations. It has a low aperture, which means it'll perform really well in low light. My lens is only the 1.8. A lot of times there's a 1.4 version of this lens too, but even my one is great in low light. You can really open it up and those extra stops will really help you keep your ISO and your shutter speed where you want to as well. 50 millimeters is a great focal lens too. It's great for lifestyle, portraits, street photography, which is what I've mostly been using it for lately. The only real exceptions are niche genres like astrophotography or wildlife, for example. But for most others, this lens will work just great. And another genre this lens would be great for is travel photography, which brings me to my next reason. This lens is really light and super easy to carry. It's so small and light for the quality of photographs that you get from it. Yeah, it might vary from brand to brand. Some brands might have heavier versions, but in most cases, this is a really small lens. And that makes it perfect for most trips. Short trips, weekend trips, long trips, three hour hikes, 
whatever it is, we all want to make our bag a little bit lighter and a little bit smaller so we can walk around for longer and take more photos. I usually find myself just throwing this lens into my bag even if I don't specifically need it. Just because it's so light, it doesn't really make a difference. It's just easy to put in there. It's also light and pretty small on camera too, which is nice for a lot of different situations. Street or travel photography, for example, if you want to be a bit more discreet and don't want to be drawing too much attention to a giant setup. And finally, this is not a typical reason to buy a lens, but I think it's a great reason for beginners to buy a lens. This is also a prime lens, which means you won't have the option to zoom in camera. And that means that this is a great way to learn how to get better with your composition. Not being able to zoom means you'll have to use your legs and move more to compose your photo. Now, it sounds a little bit silly, but it also means that you just spend more time thinking about your composition, which means it's in your brain for longer, and that ultimately means that you're gonna get better. It's not just a case of zoom, unzoom, zoom in, snap, move on to the next shot. You really have to think and consider your frame a little bit longer. Now it sounds quite simple and maybe it even is a little bit silly, but I think most experienced and advanced photographers who use prime lenses will, will sing praises for this and most will agree. It really is just a great way to improve your composition. So yeah, that's it, the 50mm, a great little lens for beginners and also one that will stay useful as you progress and level up in your photography. To be honest, I'm not really that much of a gear guy myself. I think most people probably talk too much about cameras and lenses and all that kind of stuff. But I think the 50mm is a great lens for beginners that they might be able to keep with them for a long time and as I've just outlined for practical reasons, not just the usual technical stuff. But let me know what you think. Do you have this lens already? Do you like it or maybe not like it? Uh, what are your reasons for liking it or not liking it? Let me know in the comments. Let other people know in the comments too. I'd love to hear your opinions on it as well. Thanks again to everybody who watched. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and maybe even tell your photo friends about the channel. It really helps a ton and, and I appreciate it a lot. I'll be back really soon with some more videos and until then you can check out some of the previous ones that I've done. See ya.